Hey, Pat, it's Midnight Designer, and we are back playing Seven Days Today. And we are back on the Dyersville Madness server. We are now rocking not just Alpha 8, but Alpha 8.1. Uh, Alpha 8 introduced a number of changes to the game, including smooth terrain, air drops, and uh, additions to the uh, block upgrade system. Some changes and tweaks, uh, but there were some pretty buggy issues that came along with that update. Uh, some of them have been addressed in Alpha 8.1. Uh, so that is when we have started recording and of course because this was a major upgrade update uh, we have started over on the Dyersville Madness server um, I did jump on uh, while Marillibus was streaming uh, to get started in part and in part to test to see if the server was stable I think we've got things working uh, pretty well. Uh, Joe the Pirate's on with me. Um, so I did gather up some supplies. I have made it uh, to uh, the ranger station, which is right near the scenic overlook, which is where we will be building. Um, so I think in this episode we have... Uh, let's go through what we have. We've got some of that food stuff that we love so well. We've got some of these other things over here the air supply drops um, happen once a day on the server that's the setup we have right now um, and they drop a lot of this a lot of wood and a lot of these rebar uh, frames which are kinda cool um, but since I'm not ready to build in concrete uh, I have been just using them to smelt down and make iron it gets out of them so uh, you know that's the thing that has happened so let's see let's kinda clear up our inventory a little bit uh, because we are going to go raid the other cabins along the uh, shore Ooh, I hear the call of the nonsense the, the screech of those spider skeletons is is a thing. So let's uh, wait. This is done or gave up? Okay, it is done and gave up. Okay, so we'll take that. Uh, we've got some antibiotics. We've got a band aid in case we start bleeding. Somebody's close. Let's go out the emergency exit. So yeah, I took over this space. Um, we have uh, boarded up all the windows <laughs> except for apparently that one. I don't know why I didn't do that one, but you know, whatever. So let's go and greet the day in the traditional seven days to die manner of running out and clubbing a thing. And somebody knocking at my door. Hey! Hitboxes now are a little, or not hitboxes, but uh, melee combat is a little wonky right now uh, with the zombies. They seem to have a pretty extensive reach. Um, so that will be a challenge for us in this update. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things. I know that a lot of folks have done uh, Alpha 8 updates and... I don't have a lot to add to what they have said. There's a couple of things that uh, weren't really highlighted um, in the various updates that I've seen that uh, that I thought were significant. Um, and I'm trying to think of what they were because I wanted to tell you, Pat, about what they are. Uh, you know how I like to share the data. Um, I think one of them is that uh, ore distribution has changed. Now I did say in the notes to the Alpha 8 update that uh, iron was going to be easier to find. Um, and I was looking at somebody had posted the code for ore distribution in the uh, dirt. <laughs> the dirt. 
uh, in the ground and it seems like from what I have I can glean from it it seems oh you would just move just move why don't you uh, it seems like ore distribution is the same is uh, the same uh, uh, percentage chance at all levels um, it used to be that you had to go down like 10 levels and then you went uh, from like 10 and then oh where is where is it where is it there it is Ooh. Ooh, crate! Oh, how fortuitous. A crate has fall is falling. Um, in 8.0, let me just, uh, while I'm thinking of this, in 8.0 they had uh, completely taken away uh, st the uh, stamina draining effect of running. Uh, they brought it back in 8.1, so thanks for that, now that we got to run for things. Um, so let's run for this crate while we talk more about ore distribution. So now I can't run. So now we're not going to run. But, what is that? Oh, you guys wait here because we got to make armor. Um, but I don't want to lose uh, sight of where that crate was dropping. Nurse. Oh, there it is. See it? See it? We're coming. I can't run very fast. Alright, so here is, and there should be three, so maybe if we go like this way, we'll find others. So let's see what's in here. Ooh, look at this, water, look at all the stuff we have from this crate. Hunting knife book, let's see if I know that already. Oh, I know Kung Fu. Right. So or the the chances of uh, or appearing on any given level are now the same. Nurse, now let's see if I can melee you without you giving me trouble. Ah, oh, see, man, if you miss, you're. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Yeah, you give me nothing. Yeah, so. I don't know if it's slower or the uh, the aiming mechanism has changed for uh, melee combat. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, let's try this guy. Spider. See, now that one went okay. I I mean I have heard anecdotally that the ladies have a longer reach. Um, I don't know if that's actually a thing, but whatever. Uh, they made these blocks much bigger, which is so neat uh, in terms of just like breaking them up because it's very visceral when you break them up. Uh, look at, and they drop a bunch more stuff because we got stones iron coal iron coal potassium nitrate dropped in its own little piece of paper very handy so we got all that stuff so the effect of uh, the change in the code for the ore distribution seems to be that it should be relatively easy uh, to find ore um, just by digging off the top two levels of dirt until you hit um, gravel. And then once you find gravel, you have found ore. Uh, like for example, I had come out here earlier uh, just to dig out this, because this is clay. There's little deposits of clay under the water. So I dug this out and right away I found, I found gravel. which is probably going to be really hard to mine underwater but you get the idea you sh so um, it should be relatively easy to get to uh, 
underground uh, resources by just scraping off the surface, which did not used to be the case. Now, we had come... Oh, right. Right? We were going to hunt. We were going to hunt. Okay. Um, don't... Whoa. What happened? Uh, we hungry. We hungry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, let's do it. Where are... Don't fight your destiny. Just... Swing and a miss. There's one. Don't run too far. Don't run too far. What? That was a hit. You know that was a hit. Oh. There we go. Down goes Frazier. Is that a rabbit? Is that a dirt? That hit the dirt? Is that dirt dead? Alright. Spider. Just be cool. I'm just getting some leather. You know how I do. Stay back. Stay back. There's three. Thank you. Leave the meat. Yes. So the smooth terrain is very attractive. Um, but every once in a while, the zombies, their uh, their walk, their tracking will be a little weird. So they'll kind of like move meandery down the hill, which makes them hard to shoot. Okay, now we saw another one, right? Where'd it go? Hello? Where did the buck stop? Did the buck stop here? Hmm? Hmm? Is that a buck? No, that's garbage. Not buck. Not garbage. No, it's garbage. Uh, we should have killed them both when we had a chance. But we didn't. Always look for feathers. Oh, look at that. Oh, Joe. You, I don't think you can shoot through those stick bushes. That and stop. No, seriously, stop right there. Butt shot. Oh, you got butt shot. That's an empty nest. All right. Oh, I I hear you. Those spider zombies get excited, yo. Maybe that. <laughs> oh, you're human. I want to eat your brain. Oh, it's a nurse. Hey, that was a headshot. You should have gone down. So, yes, smooth terrain is beautiful. Uh, or is at all the levels. Um, so, I guess... Um, there were a lot of folks who played the game whoa, heading way the wrong way uh, who would like dig all the way down to bedrock and do their thing down there because the zombies would never hear them or whatever which you know is a way to do it um, and I guess <clears throat> that uh, they will be able to get uh, minerals or ores down there that they were not able to get before I'm skipping uh like bullet making supplies at the moment simply because we aren't there yet and I'd rather not clog up the inventory space you know so we have oh hello rabbit do you have any leather that I could borrow are you like gone are you gone you can't jump and do a thing? Are you gone? Are you all the way gone? 
Yep, you are all the way gone. Okay. So the plan is. Well, the plan was we were going to raid those caverns. And then what happened? We got like distracted or something. Ah. Uh, well, let's drop off this new stuff that we found and then we can go do the thing that we said we were going to do. What? Hey. And. Nice. Okay. Here we go. So, let's put some things away. Um, rocks metal that and you where did I pick up a sniper rifle was that in the crate okay so I guess I'll swap you two out and you can I'm already out of room I'll just stick you in there for now Okay, feathers you can go in there, and let's go raid some cabins, shall we? Alright, we shall. Oh, right, we got down here and then the airplane showed up. We were all like, the plane, the plane, the plane. So, all right, this is, this is how you do it. All right, fat man, I see you over there. Um, the holstering mechanic has changed, which I, is another Alpha 8 thing. Uh, it now takes a second for you to switch between items, which is, I guess, more realistic, they said, but... I don't know. There's some things that don't need to be realistic, and I think that the delay uh, that supports the fiction of that you're getting this switching from tool A to tool B and taking things out of your backpack. I don't know. That's a. You know, realism in a game is cool to a certain point. Um, but at the end of the game, it's, or at the end of the game, at the end of the day, it's a, hey, what are you doing? Why don't you just walk through the open door? You just aren't very smart. Okay. But at the end of the day, it's, you know, it still has to be a fun experience. And I don't know, I think that um, the. Where? Why can't I walk through? Hey! Whoa! Miss! Stop! Stop! I'm hitting you! Why am I not hitting you? Okay. Okay, well, it's starting to get dark. And so it's going to be dark and dangerous up in here. Where is the. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Um coffee I'll take so we're gonna just hit this one and get out of here because we do not want to die down here let's see let's hit these cabinets stop in between and chomp a pill get our health up eat a thing see that delay thing kind of uh, breaks flow for me not everything has to be realistic I'm just saying so we're gonna go through and get all the stuff out of this cabin and head back and end this episode which it feels like we didn't get anything accomplished in which we didn't, except for to, you know. 
do a thing, which we didn't do. Um, let's get you. Get you. Cooler. No, no, thank you. No, thank you, smelly rabbit. Tricks are for kids, and you are for attracting zombies. Okay, let's get up here. Let's clean this out and get out of here. Um, it is so dark, and I am so sorry. Um, backpack. Wait. Thank you, pot. No, we're done. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're gone. Whoa! Oh, we do not want to slow down now. Feet don't fail me now! I'm, we're coming home! We're coming home! Alright. And base. Oops, I fell in the water. Uh, whenever I do a temporary base, I like to make a bucket and bring water if there's not a toilet so that we can make water without having to go to a place that has water. Well, <clears throat> we had a fairly decent run, and while I'm putting this away, I will say thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to start a conversation, why don't you start one? Where? In the comment section below. Seven days to die. Alpha 8.1 FTW. Uh, let's crouch. Somebody at the door. We'll have to answer it next time. Thanks for watching. And have a great day.